Uh, well done on today's victory. It was a convincing 5 0 win against Caution team that looked out of their depth. How did you prepare for today's fixture? Um, I think I think you know this is our uh, fifth preseason game, so you know we're making good progress. I think the squad's looking strong. Um, good performances again, another clean sheet, and um, yeah, I'm pleased where we're at so far. I think uh, we're looking in good shape. It's all about building up for two weeks' time when we start at Banbury in the league on the 8th of August. How have you felt pre-season has gone overall so far? I think it's good. I think we've attracted some, we've got a good mix, you know, good experienced players, good spine to the team, excellent goalkeeper, um, good spine, good good experience through the middle of the pitch and some really exciting young players around that. So I don't think we could really be in any better shape than what we are really. I think, uh, you know, the signings we've made this week and hopefully a couple more that I can get done um, this, this next couple of days will really make the squad complete. So I think we're in really good shape. What will you take from Marines pre-season? What, what, what do you think has been the learning curve so far? I think you know pre-seasons can be can be misleading. We had a good pre-season last year and um, had a, a poor season by our standards. So you can read too much into pre-season. I think pre-season just about getting the players fit and ready, and it's all about how you start in the league. And um, that's the main priority for me to make sure we start we start well and we get we got a difficult you know difficult August. You know a lot of difficult games. FA Cup we're away. You know, against Sholin, who probably you know were in this league last year, so it's, it's going to be difficult. But you know, with the quality I've got at my disposal at the moment, I think um, we should we should start well. Do you think this is one of the strongest Marine squads that's that's been around in a couple I of years? I think um, three seasons ago, when when I came, you know, I inherited a team that was relegated, and there were some good players here, um, and we've still got some of those players in this squad, but. You know, what I'm excited about is some of the younger players that we're, we're now bringing in and I think mixing those two two together is going to give us the success that, that obviously the chairman wants and the club wants. You know, we've got a nice pitch to play on, um, surroundings are great, you know, the club's doing everything they can to get people through the turnstile so hopefully, you know, a combination of all those things will give us a good uh, good season. Speaking of uh, young players that you've got in, uh, Connor Walden looked the threat up front on his debut since we signed him for the club. Uh, how do you think you will fit in Marine's plans for the upcoming season? Well, I, I think, you know, with Connor, um, obviously we had him here for three months on loan last season and he was the one, selfishly, that we probably wanted all the way. I, I didn't think probably it would happen. Um, if the truth be known, I thought he'd probably, probably go somewhere else. Um, but thankfully this week he's decided to join us and I, I think he'll be an absolute threat in this league. I think he'll score a lot of goals and uh, you can see today he's very intelligent and he wants to play and he's enjoying his football and I think with Connor he wants to enjoy himself and express himself so I think uh, I think here this season if hopefully he's uh, he's going to be the top goalscorer in the league there's no reason why he can't be he's going to get lots of chances the way we play um, so I'm hoping he really uh, sets this league on fire and fires us to the to the heights of the top of the league that's what we want to be do you think because of his three month loan this this will help him with his surroundings now because if you're more a part of the club. I, I think him being here for three months last year is why he's come, because he realises what we want to do, how 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 well we try and do things here, and um, he knows. I know he feels comfortable here, and he enjoys himself here. So, I think that's been the real factor of getting Connor Walden to the football club, and um, it's a massive boost for everybody that he's here. You have a few new acquisitions this season. Is the objective to push for that promotion, and how do you see the new players making an impact on the squad? I think everyone we brought in is going to add something. You know, we've signed some, I say, really good players. You know, Ash Taylor, Matty Borman in goal. All these players have got great, um, great attributes. And uh, yeah, I'd be, you know, I, we have to be challenging this season with the quality we've got here. And I think we will be. Um, just want to have a good start, have a good August, and then, um, you know. But the group's coming together great. You know, and we're, we're very lucky to have the players we've got. And. Um, it's down to me now to try and make sure that we start winning matches and we start well. So Just that's the uh, last question, do you have any other players that you're looking at signing before the start of the season? Um, maybe one, if I was selfish, we'd maybe like to bring in one more one more defender, uh, maybe a left-sided defender uh, who, you know, Luke Matthews is the one that we, we would like to bring to the football club. He was with us again on loan last season, so he's currently at Bath. Um, if we get him, I think um, we'll be ready, uh, but saying that, We've got you know young Ryan Morgan who played there today, done exceptionally well. He's just 17 years of age, and um, again, it's, it's looked really good. So, I think um, you know it's Ryan's shirt at the moment. Hopefully, he keeps hold of it.